Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I'm going to walk through the Obsidian Release 0.10.8 Insider Build. We have some more shiny new things and these are really focused around PDFs and optimizing the functionality and usage of PDFs within Obsidian. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Okay, so the first sh shiny new thing that they have here is the Obsidian Publish can now restrict site access with one or more passwords. Now this is sounds like a really good security feature that they're adding to Obsidian Publish. I do not have Obsidian Publish yet, but now that they're, they've been adding a few new features and optimizing it, I'm actually considering getting Obsidian Publish. So let's go ahead and move on to the second one here in the list is you can now choose to store attachments in the same folder as your current note or in a subfolder relative to the current note. So this here, I've seen this functionality in some other apps. Uh, note plan three does its attachments in a way where if you um, drag in an uh, image or some kind of attachment that it supports into a note, it creates a subfolder and then puts the attachments there. Uh, but Obsidian is giving you the option. So let's go ahead into Obsidian and take a look at this one here. Okay, so we're in Obsidian now and let's go into the settings because this is where this feature is going to show up. Let's go into files and we will go to the bottom for attachments. Okay, so right now we have the default, the vault folder. And if we hit that now, we get to a couple of different selections. So we can say in the specified folder below. And if we select that, we can choose any folder that we want. And when you drag and drop your files onto your note, they will always go into this specific folder. The next option you get is to place the attachment in the same folder as the current file. So if we select that, the folder option or um, uh, configuration there disappears because it's always going to put the attachment in the same folder as the current file. Now this does make it a lot more easy to get to that particular um, file because they're all in the same directory. I've seen for, from a consistency standpoint from one app to another that that would help because the the link should not break if it's in the same folder as the file it should automatically work. But this is a good thing here where Obsidian still gives you the option of how you want this to work. And the last option here is to create a subfolder underneath the current folder. So where the file is sitting, what would happen is it would create a folder underneath it and then put the, the files into that folder or the attachment into that folder. Now in this particular way, the way they have it set here is that you can um, give a particular name here. But the one thing I hope that they would have in here is where you can either use a variable. So say maybe I want the the folder to be the same name as the file. So you know that the attachment is for that particular file. But in this case here, it seems like it's doing it by the folder. So if you have multiple files in a folder, all the attachments for the files in that folder will go into the subfolder um, for the attachments. So that means that you will, you will more than likely end up with a lot of attachment folders um, per every uh, folder that's out there. So I, I just think this here may make finding the attachments a little bit more confusing if you move your files around a lot. And the reason why I say that that could become a, a big issue is that I don't think Obsidian is actually moving the attachments to files when you move the file. So if you move the file and you're linking to a particular attachment, um, by default, it's not moving the attachment with the file. So it'll be interesting to see how this works in practice. I'm going to have to do some testing with this here. 
Now, before I get into the details of testing this out and showing how this works, let's go ahead to the other new additions here. And so the huge PDF improvements is that the PDF files will now render when embedded inside a note. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, PDFs are now rendering using a native PDF viewer. So now we get scroll, zoom, and we can select and copy text. And here you can now link to a page of a PDF by adding hashtag page equals a number. So we will show this here and this also works embedded PDFs typing the, so if you type the hash sign here, it looks like it will auto complete and put in the page equal portion. Then you can just put the number instead of typing it all out. All right, so let's go into Obsidian and let's drag in a PDF. Come here, we'll drag in a PDF. So by default, I you know, pulled in this PDF, it created the link, it's an embedded link here, or um, it's a, a link where it's gonna embed the, the actual PDF and you'll be able to see it when I hit the preview here. And it also moved that PDF file into the, the root folder of my vault. So if I go and hit preview, we'll see that it rendered in, into the folder here or into the file. And we can kind of scroll through. It also mentioned that we can select text. So let's select some text there, we'll copy go back into edit mode and we can paste that in. Okay, it put everything, it did not do the line breaks in here. So it does copy the text though, but it does not have any of the formatting. And let's see what else. So we did the rendering, we saw the copying and let's create a link here. And let's go here, so Obsidian. So the file is there that it's already selected. I'm just gonna hit the hashtag. And yes, it auto completed the hash page equals. And I'm gonna say page two, this document has two pages. Let's go ahead and preview this. And if we go to the bottom, it should be on page two, yes. So the first one starts on page one. I did not specify a page number. The second one actually went to page two by default. Now, let me see if that's, if that's hard coded in there. So I moved this to page one because you can still kind of scroll through. Take it out of preview and let's put it back in the preview and see no, so it's still on page one. So if you change the page number, it will, and you go out of preview, it doesn't look like it will force it back to the, the page number that you have set in the link. But if we, let's do this here, command click, and it does go to, to the second page. So really it's only for the, the link is probably when when you click on the link, will it enforce it? So if I cancel out of there, let's go back to the index, command, and then yes, it goes back to page two. So now let's go ahead and test out the different settings for the attachment or in the file, go to the bottom. So in a specified folder, this is pretty much the same as the having it set to the vault folder. So this is nothing really new. So I will not do that one. Let's do same folder as current file. All right, let's go out. We'll go ahead and delete this. We will delete the attachment. And let's go ahead and drag the PDF in there again. And right now it put it in the root because guess what? Um, that index file is in the root. So let's delete this one. 
and we will delete that link and what we'll do is we'll drag it here into this test and personal which is underneath the personal folder drag that there and yes that worked so we can see that the test note is here and the pdf is in the same folder with it we'll go ahead and delete this all right so let's go back to settings we will change this now to in a subfolder underneath the current folder and as it says here we have to actually specify a name so we'll specify attachment and what we will do we're on the test and let's drag it that in again okay so we see it created the attachment folder and it put the attachment in it okay so if i add another pdf to this here so now i have two pdfs links there and both are underneath this particular folder so let's assume we're going to drag this this note and we're going to move it to a different folder what happens so we can see we, we were able to move the note it created a number one because the other one was um, we already had one with the same name in there but it has both links in here and if we command click we can get to those go back we can get to those but it did not move the attachments the attachments are still here so this is where if you move your files around a lot this could really get confusing if you move the the note and the files the attachments stay behind so if you're going to use this option you should understand that this is how this works and um, in the future if you're moving things around you're, you may get confusion on where your attachments are for a specific file because you might move say move the notes to a different file assume that there is nothing linking back to these attachments and delete the attachments. Now, one good thing here is that there is some thought behind this linking process. And I kind of specified this in one of the, in a previous video is that all of the links are known in the backlink pane. So you can take a look in the backlink pane to see what, what is linked to what within Obsidian. So if I click on one of these PDF files, we can see here in the backlink pane that there is a link from this file to this particular PDF. Now, one thing it does not show here is where this file is. So if the full path of this file was known or shown here in this list, that would be an additional cue to to say, okay, this, this particular file is not in the, the root or the folder above the attachments folder. But in order to know that, you can still just click in on here. It'll take you to this link. And then you can see where the file is in the hierarchy of your vault. Okay, so that was all of the shiny new things in Obsidian 0.10.8 Insider Build. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, have a nice day. And that could be an issue because right now I don't think Obsidian's moving the file. Do it again.